Hello and welcome back to Polkadot Decoded. Right now, in keeping in theme with Polkadot being a layer zero multi-chain, we welcome Tyrone Pan, product manager at Bi Bifrost. And Bifrost is a multi-chain middleware platform that allows developers to seamlessly deploy and use multiple blockchains at the same time. So here to talk about Bifrost, Tyrone, take it away. Hello, host, and greeting, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tyrone from Bifrost Finance. I'm very glad to say thank you for, for voting me as a speaker in this biggest event, Polkadot, each year. And today I'm going to share with you some novel ideas about recent hotspot topic, incoming Kusama master law auction, and what's Bifrost's new ideas on it. So let's take a First step on this ecosystem chart of Bifrost. Bifrost is a subtree-based DeFi protocol to provide liquidity for pledged assets such as staking derivatives in different post blockchains to achieve value aggregation among different ecosystems on Polkadot. We've launched the derivative V token for staking and Polkadot power chain slot auction, which is SLP. It's all topic today, uh, which is the uh, uh, stock auction liquidity protocol. In addition, Bifrost has been awarded a Web3 Foundation grant, and uh, we've also an early member of Web3 Bootcamp and Subtree Builders program. Recently, uh, community and projects are all expecting the launching of Kusama Parchin Slot Auction. And on the yesterday's Polkadot Decode main stage, Parity gave us a list about what's happening next. And the Kusama Parchin is about to live soon. Um, we are all looking forward to the evolution of shell chain to state mint and po projects parchains will coming up next. I have to say that the uh, exciting moment comes earlier than I expected. And today is a big day to talk about crop loan and slot auction. What Bypass will do is to release the liquidity of pouch and bounding after the crop loan. So let us review about crop loan in a few seconds. So here is, um, I extracted an impressive paragraph from Pogdos official article, obtaining a paragraph, a power chain slot on Pogdot, demonstrates that many dot holders may want different utility options than staking can provide. Thus, it's natural that dot holders would want to loan their dot to project who require dot for a bound in exchange for some consideration. <clears throat> from this paragraph, we can find out two main purpose of the crop loan. First, it helps projects get supported from the community to beat the auction and in exchange to provide some benefit for DOT holders who loan their DOT. Second, DOT gives more utility uh, than staking. So this passive, uh, passive inspired us have more thoughts on the beneficial function for different characters in the uh, ecosystem. The brilliant design of Crotlon is that it can easily connect different characters and promote a positive relationship among them. If we take a look on this triangle, we can see a healthy circle based on the Crotlon promotion because it's not easy for projects to get power chain by themselves. So Crotlon is the core to push projects accumulate their intrinsic value at the beginning in order to attract bounding for the crop loan in the future after a long journey. We the pouch and bait just the beginning to the ecosystem development. If they want to build a marvelous project, this circle will be uh, definitely repeat again. For, for participants, they will decide whether they will loan their dot or not. It depends on the game of they might from they, they might get uh, potentially 
uh, high reward than staking from power chain who might win the auction or they have to uh, face the bonding market during the bonding period. Moreover, they were considering about the long-term development of the project or the project may not doing as well as they expected, right? So they cannot move their underlying assets during the bond period. That's the big problem what we are talking about today. So now let's brainstorming about what if bonding with liquidity, which means contributors can transfer their pouch and bonding as a derivative token at any time. We roughly derive three characters in the ecosystem performance during the bounding period. And they will even have the opportunity to get the pouching crop loan reward that they might miss the project crop loan. That's very interesting. These two changes will directly into more utility for DOT and Kusama by building a directing market up and on the bounding assets. The directing market will also stimulate the competition between power chains to accumulate more value for whole ecosystem by boosting the new creative ideas on the new utility or uh, compound of derivatives. This triangle will be enhanced by the bounding liquidity, absolutely. So what Bifor is doing here is to release contributors bounding liquidity in crop loan by generating derivatives, which we call it SLP or SOP liquidity protocol. Now it's time to see the shape of it. Uh, here's the principle of SOP uh, on the uh, duration of the crop loan, each contributed token through buy for SOP will be separated to two derivatives, as you see. One is uh, uh, VS token, it represents the utility feature of the Arduino token. And the other one is VS bound, which represents the equity feature to receive the uh, power chain reverse and it record the uh, power chain lease period. They will be available on transaction when power chain lease period starts. The interesting point is that they are different tokens, but with the comp combination of them, uh, the underlying token can be fully redeemed as well as unbounding action after the uh, power chain lease period. You might want to ask now, uh, why we separate two derivatives for one bow, but for separate these two derivatives with VS token, it can build an aggregative derivative market for all power chain boundings with high liquidity. With VS bound, it can build a pending order market for uh, power chain rewards without liquidity. So, okay. Uh, Here's the architecture of Bifor SOP. Uh, Bifor achieved this protocol by building a VS token palette to create delegating account token and VS bound to contributors. The contributions found will be transferred automatically to the relay chain crawl long account. After the power chain list period, bounding tokens will be unbounded back to the delegating account and contributors can uh, redeem their underlying assets and destroy the two derivatives of VS token and VS bound. Problem quantity and incentive token and their retirement time. And if you click any of them, you will jump right into the corresponding project website. Uh, contributors can easily compare different power chains and contribute to their favorite project through this app. And the next page is uh, uh, redemption and the derivative liquidity op operation page. You can fully redeem your underlying token by destroying the uh, corresponding number of VS token. 
and VS bound after the lease period or swap VS token during the lease period. These curves mean the um, VS token price in Bifor's interval pool and external pool, uh, which means the secondary market pool uh, with the fungible feature of VS token, it will have deeply liquidity on price support. And here is the uh, VS bound market. This is what uh, we are all expected. Uh, VS bound is a semi uh, fungible token. Yes, it's uh, actually on the half of a fungible token and non fungible token with power chain reward. So you can trade VS bound as pending orders. You can easily on shelf or off shelf the bounds you have. You can uh, clearly see the time of when power chain will be retired and you will know when you can fully redeem your underlying assets. So if you miss the any power chain reward when it's crop long, now you have another chance to get it. Uh, I have to say that the price of Derupted is the most interesting point to establish a Derupted market. You can see the different price of VS bound in this page for uh, different power chains. It depends on the requirements of the power chain reward, which means how many people think the power chain might have a stronger long-term value. Now, so let's discuss a little bit about the uh, bounding uh, derivative market. Okay. With the SOP, a uh, derivative market will be established. VS token as a utility token to release bounding liquidity. It has discount from the uh, futures of bounding redemption and power chain reward. If we look at this curve, it has high discount before the first power chain lease period retired, but discount rate will going down by the passing time that approaching to unbounding time. And the discount will be roughly stable when more boundings are unlocked one by one. This market will be supported by the opposite demand of uh, participants who believe in long-term value of dot Kusama and who needs cash uh, who needs cash flow immediately. The buy for sub implementation is an um, uh, innovative derivative product designed by our team after in-depth investigation of users' needs and researching. In Polkdot, the multi-chain system architecture separates uh, canonicity and validity, which establish a bridge of mutual trust between different consensus systems. By Soap has the same original intention as the Polkdot. Qualitative trans uh, transaction feature and differentiated equity feature are divided, which promotes derivative to obtain sufficient liquidity while lowering the barriers for users to participate. We believe the SOP will be creative product in DeFi ecosystem when Polkdot, when Polkdot slot auction is officially started. And SOP will be also uh, Will be, will, will be applied for the first time in Bifor's upcoming Kusama power chain slot auction. In addition, SOP will establish a derivative market for another utility of DOT and Kusama, upper non staking and power chain bounding, as I mentioned in the uh, beginning of my speech. With the utility power chains who integrate uh, SLP will, will be uh, advanced in the competition, which will absorb more value for the for the whole ecology. Okay, that's my speech, and thanks for your listening. Uh, and if you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask in the ask me a question. Uh, Great to hear. Yeah, we do have some questions for you. Thanks for so much for your talk. Uh, let me go to the first question here, which is. Um, can Bifrost implement this um, before becoming a parachain itself? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a brilliant question, I think. Well, um, 
as I mentioned in this presentation, uh, Bifos developed a VS token palette to create delegating account for power chains and contributing based on the uh, XMP. So power chains can issue directives through SLP and users can participate in the slot auction to op uh, obtain directives by for, for liquidity. But before power chain become a power chain, Bifos become a power chain, SOP was unable to fully use XMP for, for other projects, which means we cannot use a pallet as a, a, a power chain, right? So it will only support Bifos slot auctions through the Kusama Multisig address. Contributors will record it and release some uh, same, same quantity of derivative since the uh, multisig method needs to be trusted by uh, uh, multisig parties. We will, we will display the multisig records on the uh, Bifo slot auction page. Uh, and to be honest, the, the reflection of, the, uh, of this derivative market on the power chain bounding is actually quite positive. Uh, we've received over uh, 30,000 registration on it. And we are actually look forward to build on the uh, power chain and provide the SLP for uh, different power chains in the near future. Thanks for your question. Okay, yeah, that's it makes sense because then you'd be able to implement your own palettes and provide further uh, functionality once you do become a parachain. But will, so people will be able to participate in the SALP um, for the first auction? Uh, yes, of course, they, they, they can indeed. They can, they can, they can participate in the uh, Bifrost, uh, actually uh, internal SALP, but not supported for other power chains in the, uh, the first uh, power chain bidding. But Bef okay. But actually, before by first bidding the auction, uh, maybe the first slot or second slot is not by first, it's other power chain, and they will not be supported because we are not a power chain. We can't use XLP to to create uh, to to be backed by a by a power chain pilot to do the XMP transaction for the automatically and fully. Uh, fully decentralized uh, service for it. Okay, yeah. And one more question from our audience, uh, which is how long will the SLP run? Is it six months or two years? All right, all right. Uh, actually, it, uh, it depends. Uh, I think they can be separate to two questions. Actually, SLP will be run after uh, Bifos, uh, after Bifos launched this uh, slot auction and uh, the VS token and VS balance will keep running, keep running with the uh, slot auction. Uh, it depends on, on how long the power chain will be the auction. If they bid in Kusama for 48 weeks, which means the uh, VS bound, as I mentioned, VS bound represents the reward of the power chain. It represents uh, 40 week, for 48 weeks. If the power chain bid for 12 weeks, it represents the 12 weeks of the power chain lease period. So, uh, yeah, that's the answer. Uh, thank you so much for your talk, Tyrone. Um, thank you so much. Uh, thanks, Parity, and thanks all the audience. Uh, Stay tuned, everyone. Stay tuned. Uh, welcome to follow us and thanks thanks all again uh, see you guys